Hello and welcome back to the channel guys, I'm EVM and this is essentially a bit of a Top Gear ripoff. We are racing an electric vehicle against public transport, in this case probably an intercity train amongst a couple of others. Tomorrow, uh, after I finish packing anyway, uh, we were going to the Goodwood Festival of Speed, which for us is way down south, opposite side of London, near Chichester, we're in North Yorkshire, so it's a very long journey and we thought, you know what, this would make it tax deductible, the whole journey. If, uh, I mean, this would make it interesting if people could see that, yes, electric vehicles aren't as convenient on long, long journeys as their petrol counterparts yet, but they are substantially cheaper, which is why I've got one. However, can they beat public transport? We've done this in the past, uh, where we went to Fort William, and that was predominantly normal trains I would call them there was a couple of fast ones but essentially we got there about an hour and a half quicker than the train and we had charging problems this one however according to how long it should take on public transport according to you know the various websites where you get the tickets and google maps for this it's going to be very close very tight and hopefully a bit more interesting please remember that subscribe not subscribers subscribe anyway but people who become members who click the join button next to subscribe they got to see this a week earlier and there are members only videos as well for a princely sum of 99p a month advert done let's get on with it which will be us in the car tomorrow ready to set off Right, so we're about to set off. The taxi would be due to pick us up now, now to take us to the train station to start the journey. If there were trains running today. Yes. The reason why we couldn't send anybody to essentially race us on, on public transport is because there's strikes. Yeah, yeah. And there's no one to do it either, so it wouldn't have happened either way. Well, even if, yeah, so we couldn't send the imaginary person on the real train that doesn't exist today because there's a strike. Yeah. Fantastic. Cleared that up. Now, it's a good thing that... Oh, there we go, taxi's here, I'm setting off. Go. It's a good thing that um, there's not like some sort of event going on this week. You know, like where between 80 and 110,000 well, people go to. It's, well, it's a good job there isn't two events like that. Well, yes, like, uh, oh, what's the other that one? That big music -y thing. Uh, Glastonbury. Glastonbury, yes. Yep. So there's good one in Glastonbury on the same weekend. During, you know, end of week yep. and weekend, whilst the train strike's going on. So, what's the first train stop? Well, we're getting the train to Leeds, aren't we? So, so if, if uh, what should we call the guy that's on the train? Oh, gal. So we need a we need a gender neutral name. Oh, oh George. Could be a boy or a girl's name. Georgina, I suppose. I've got a friend called George who's a girl. What, just George? Just George, yeah. Oh, fair enough. So when does George get to the uh, train station? So, because obviously, George will be in the taxi right now. So now we set off at half past one. Okay. So the they will get to the train, well, they'll set off on the train, shall we say, at three minutes to two. So that gives us 27 minutes. Head start, almost. Well, no, because yeah. they're, they're travelling they towards They are travelling, but there's a lot of waiting, I guess. There. Well, a little bit of waiting. So, effectively, the whole journey for the train is taxi to train station, Steeton Silsden is the closest one to me. That takes you to Leeds. Leeds. And then you're at the mercy of waiting on train. And, and, yeah, so yeah. this is all assuming as well, so it's, uh, it's biased towards the train, that all the trains run, and on time. We're assuming or that. even stop at the station that you're trying to get yeah. on the train at. Which surprisprisingly doesn't happen doesn't that happen much often now. enough. <laughs> then it's leads to London King's Cross, which is yeah. intercity speeds. Wow, 10 miles an hour. That's really going to catch it. Uh, well, that's going to That's going to be the bit where it's going to really, yeah, it's gonna really fly past us, isn't it? From London King's Cross, you then go to, I think, Waterloo. Waterloo, yeah. Well, you got an hour. On there. the tube. Roughly. So you got hour. an hour to get there from the, yeah, the tube. Uh, and then there's a train to, is it Havant? Havant, not Havana. Havana. <laughs> uh, yep, yeah, that's roughly half an hour. Uh, then you've got another 10 minutes to Chichester and taxi to Goodwood. Six hours, 26 and a half hours maybe? 26 and a half hours? Six and a half hours. Oh, right. <laughs> 26 and a half hours. Whoa, we'll even be. No, no, that's real time because of the strike. <laughs> it was like a comedian said, he loves going to the uh, London King's Cross on a Sunday to watch uh, people who've come to London buy a train ticket to be shown the bus. 
rules for us is we never go above the speed limit. No holding hands. Which, of course, no no, we don't. <laughs> <laughs> oh, sorry, the other rules. Yes, yeah, the other rules. <laughs> that speed limit. <laughs> so we'll be doing the speed limit. So we're not. We will, yeah. We're not. No, that means no lower than and no higher than. So there's no like. Playing the film speed. Yeah. So we're not. We're not driving economically to try no, no, and no, save no, no, time. No, no. We're not driving quickly to try and do anything. So it's as even as you can, even yeah. playing field. It's, yeah, it's, it, we're not treating this car any different than if we're taking a petrol or diesel car. And as I said earlier, bias towards the train because we're assuming that's on time yeah. every step of the way, whereas we could have to factor in train strike traffic. That's going to be, I think, I think we're going to experience some uh, in about 10 or 15 minutes when we try and drive through this town. That's but, the services, we need the supercharger, otherwise it won't pre the battery for uh, fast charging. And fast charging is key. Super diamond, super clean. <laughs> super in in rugby. <laughs> See what I brought. Oh, wow. See what I brought. Sweet chilli rice crackers. Sweet chilli rice crackers. Ooh, that's all we need. What have you brought? I bought uh, jelly babies. But not any jelly babies. Ooh. Iron brew. Oh, two was it, two was packets. It, is it iron or urn? I urn, in that what you get when you've like, <laughs> cremated somebody. Or when you've uh, gone to work and you get paid. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. <laughs> so effectively, because there's just two men going on this festival this event, fine. we've got rice crackers and jelly babies yeah, yeah. for four days. That's fine, yeah. We were promised champagne by Genesis. By Genesis, weren't they? The guy at the fully charged event yep. he said, oh, come and find us, because Genesis are there, the stand, not the band. Come and, yeah, yeah. Um, and come and find uh, us and we'll give you... Uh, champagne. Yeah. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had what you would call proper champagne in my entire life. I don't like wine. I don't like anything that sounds like somebody's not happy. Wine. So shall we um, get back in 40 minutes once we're theoretically on the train to London? Yeah, so once George is on the train. George. And then we'll see how far we are compared to George. Yeah, yeah. Or shall we, I know, I'm gonna ramp it up a bit. George. George. It's the same person I buy my clothes from. <laughs> in Asda. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> oh no! 50 mile an hour road works. Oh. Well, that sometimes helps, yeah. but not today. It helps the range a little bit, doesn't it? Well, yeah, but I think uh, we're, we're, we're just going. Yeah. Well, well, we we can't do any more than fifty, so we're disadvantaged again in favour of the train. And this probably goes on forever. Well, it's the M6, so yeah, of course it will. Well, I've got one thing that could make the day a little bit more interesting. Harry, not on camera. No, it's talking about these. Oh, there you go, sir. I'll let you have the first one. Oh. We found these in Scotland, didn't we? We did, yeah. And they are the best jelly babies in the world. Show, show the folks. Oh. I am brew. Oh, wow. So right now, Giorgio. We're getting a coffee, coffee maybe? He's on the train, isn't it? A mucka lacker, chucker. In fact, he'll be coming into Leeds soon. So he's near, right, so, and then. He'll be getting, ready, he's getting his stuff ready to get off the train. Oh, he's getting excited because yep. he'll be able to get uh, the uh, them baguette from the, what's it called? Um, sandwich place that's in every train station. Oh. Sandwiches are us. Sandwiches are us, um, yeah, someone, yeah. So he's got a 15 minute break to get a coffee, which is probably going to cost him five quid. <laughs> and another embarrassing thing where he'll say, I have a medium coffee, and it'll have a different name. It won't be medium. Right. Grande. Yeah. As a non coffee drinker, I don't understand any of that. Grande, latte, espresso. I thought coffee was just coffee. Coffee, yeah. I just like, I have a coffee, and that's just coffee. Coffee. I'm not a snob coffee drinker. Mm. When does Leeds to London set off? Because that's when he's going to storm ahead. So, 2.45. He, uh, really? Yeah, 2.45. So that's in 20 minutes? Yep, and then he oh. gets into London at as near as, uh, damn it, uh, 5 o'clock. So we are passing... Literally, it's two, 2 hours 15 minutes to get to London. We're passing Ashton in Makerfield on the M6. Yeah, it's absolutely annihilated on this next bit. So it's roughly about 10 past 3. So they'll be the, they'll pass Wakefield probably by now. So they're in Wakefield and we've just passed Keel. Keel, just services. literally, Keel is just here, isn't it? Keel services. Speaking of Keel and services, mm. do you fancy one of these rice crackers? Well, well we've nearly finished them. Well, here's literally got one each left. 106 calories per quarter pack. What's See it? See as much as them as we want. It's ice, ice, rice. What is in a rice cake? It's got a bit, well, I can tell you. Other than rice, I mean. Uh, lots of air. Doesn't the train go at like one million miles per hour or something? It goes so quickly that time for him will seem slow, but time for us will be really quick. So by the time we get there, we'll be 25. <laughs> It'll just be <laughs> five. Did we get Giorgio a first class ticket or did we not? 
if, we'll, if the train was running. We'll say yes, because I need to get complimentary drinks. Aha, uh -huh. and uh, a meal. And actually, do you get a meal anymore? Have you been um, since Covid? Oh, like I, we did a like Frankfurt a... flight. Yeah. I'm afraid this, I mean, they gave us a, 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 a little menu as such, didn't they? Yeah, yeah. With everything you could, you could order. And then on the back, it had a sticky bit saying, you can't order any of this because of Covid. And then proceeded to give us, in business class, the only meal option we had. Oh, wasn't it prawns? Yeah, I don't like prawns, and it had wheat in it. And the meal that only, because if you can only have one, why choose seafood, which is very marmite, isn't <laughs> yeah. it? People either really like it or hate it. I know what we haven't done. We haven't told the ladies and gentlemen the peril that we face if we don't get there on time. Effectively, in, uh, oh, how many hours? If it's three now, it would be uh, five hours. Mm -hmm. So if we don't get down in there in five hours, they won't let us into the campsite. No, health and safety. Yep, which means we have to, literally have to, because this happened to us last year, it did. sleep in the car with all the camping gear in the back. That was interesting. They don't want people driving into the campsite to their pitch, which isn't named, I should point out, but they don't want people driving there uh, when it's dark, mm -hmm. which I can sort of understand. Even though you've got headlights, you don't want people driving around a campsite and, and running and, into tents I suppose and I said well all right then why can't we just park the car to the side and drag the tent to the you know yeah because you could literally see where we were supposed to stay weren't you? yeah well the, the, day, the day after the guy was there who wouldn't let us on introduced yeah. us to the site manager this lady who went just pick any of them yeah anything. she just went right go yeah like, so obviously the, she'd done the training dvd to be able to say <laughs> that the training dvd yeah yeah but that's because the set she said and I quote because I rung them up yeah you cannot put, oh, well, well and we can't allow you to put up a tent when it's dark for health and safety reasons. Have they seen a Laurel and Hardy sketch? <laughs> Harry, can you pass me the tent peg, please? <laughs> ah, ah. Yeah. The fool I was putting it up at night. Well, let's continue our discussion about rice cakes, shall we? Off camera, of yeah. course. Okay. Have we got the other ones as well so we can compare all the flavours? Oh, and we've finished the entire <laughs> packet of Jelly Babies already. Yeah, it's a good job I've got two packets. We're sleeping in a tent with festival toilets. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's a good job they weren't the sugar free ones. <laughs> you alright? Toll road! Oh god. The only way we can do this is if we take my hands off the steering wheel. We're going to have that both embarrassing moment when you ever get to the toll road, you have to pay for it. I mean, you're going to have got this. Um, we're not doing too bad for time, are we, I don't think? Well, we've seen a ton of traffic on the opposite side yeah, now. Yeah, like Miles of the stuff. So Ooh. I do. I don't want to say it, but I guess we have to. So got far, lucky. we've yeah, we've we've been. Pre I won't say smooth sailing. We've had a lot of fifties and sixty areas, but we haven't stopped, have we? Oh. And we are currently forty-four miles from the supercharger at Rugby. Just entered the toll road. Obviously, where do you think the London guy? I, I can't have any more rice crackers. <laughs> There's only three. I feel like I've had a paddy field. <laughs> There's a van in front of us that says horses on the back. But horses can't read. <laughs> I think that's the most annoying thing on the motorway, isn't it? People that can't maintain a speed. Oh, yeah, yeah, just... What is wrong with your foot? I mean, that's an Audi A6. There's no way that does not have uh, cruise control. I love the cars that have ironic names. The Kia Sportage. Yeah, yeah. It's got sport in it. It's got sport, it's sport in it. It's fast. I think the most ironic Second most ironic car, uh, named car for me is the Skoda Rapide. What after the Mitsubishi Charisma? Mitsubishi Charisma <laughs> wins <laughs> it. That is the best worst named the car. Mitsubishi Charisma. I passed my test, I got a car, and the weekend after that, I went to Blackpool. And I went on the motorways for the first time. You just do it, don't you? And do you know what I did? I got my Pass Plus certificate. And do you know how I got my Pass Plus certificate? It would have been forged back then, wouldn't no, it? No, 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 no. Genuine. Go on. I. Uh, said to my driving instructor, I want to do my passports, because you've yeah. got a, like a 30% discount yeah, on your insurance. Yeah, insurance, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, and he went, I'm really busy for the next like two months. So you give me 20 quid, which was the certificate yeah, cost. Yeah. Uh, and just give me a bell in a couple of months and we'll book it in. <laughs> <laughs> Shall I go on the card only, 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 the card only. Shall I go on the card, card only, only one? Yeah. yeah. Oh, this is, this is. This is difficult, you ready? <sighs> <sighs> I put it out of my pocket. <laughs> Can't dust off it. Moth, yeah, moth dust is that. <laughs> I like it how they've not got anything that sticks out so you can reach. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sick. Crying out loud. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, I'll have to put the code in for the car. Because I've got other seat. Come on. There we go. <laughs> I've got my seatbelt on. Oh, nice. <laughs> How'd that happen? How'd the horsey box get filled? Yeah. I have no idea. Well, this is we weren't that long. How'd that happen? <laughs> We've got a problem, guys. There's a Tesla there. There's a waiting at the supercharger network, so I've got to get in front of him because he's probably going to be charging. He doesn't know what the game is, does he? No. <laughs> <laughs> so we're probably going to have to wait to charge. So that's not. Oh, there's another Tesla behind us. There's two Teslas. So it's obviously a busy rubbish services, and there's a lot of superchargers there, isn't it? This is when them two come flying. Up. <laughs> yeah, going the other lane. How many drivers? <laughs> ah. Oh no, what's it going? If we see him there, I mean, it literally says you cannot be in this lane for yeah. the services. That would just literally prove, wouldn't it, that Tesla owners are now Tossers. ex Audi drivers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, he has as well, because there's a truck at the beginning of the oh, is it going that? roundabout. You, t he's done what we were going to do to him. The little but he's done it dangerously. I'm not surprised that she. Oh, she, she that was very she. naughty. That was very <laughs> naughty. <laughs> I like how she laughed back. <laughs> yeah, she knew exactly what she was doing. Well, I've got my large chips. I, I mean, I think what happens is we've got one bag for small, medium, and large. Yeah. So with the Giorgio being London, uh, more or less in London now. In London now. Yeah, be you know getting ready to get off, getting all his stuff together. He's now got to get the tube to Waterloo, and he's sat there for about fifty minutes or an hour, hasn't he? I think so, yeah. About an um, hour. He's got an hour, hasn't he, to basically get across. Well, I hope Giorgio's uh, enjoying himself. He will be first class. He'll be, we have a tipsy by now. On the, uh, non imagine he's got an hour to get a bit more... Uh, yeah, yeah. On the non-existent trains. Yeah. Um, so, so he's considerably in front of us now. But, thankfully, like us, he's got a natural pause. We, had, we were charging. He's waiting for his train to go from Waterloo to that Havana. So time to have a bit of a rest, a bit of something to eat, taking a little bit of culture. So he was due at half past seven? Roughly, and that's roughly. And we are due at? 7.33. Yes, 7.33. <laughs> oh, microphone fell off. It's literally, I, you couldn't make this up. I promise this is genuine. Genuine. Uh, we've just looked at the train times and he's told us the where, route where, that the where, train's yeah. going to go. I guess that's what Top Gear used to do, though, didn't they? That's why they made them walk to the end of the lane. Yeah, yeah to get the... The thing is, though, <laughs> Have you got, are, you on, are you cold? I tell you, I'll put it on there and just show off my sexy bod da, a bit da, more. Da, da, da. There you go. I'll look at all these wind turbines oh, powering us along. And look at all those uh, birds flying into them. I have some bird <laughs> statistics for you. Do you? There have not been many studies, but the studies that have been done in the UK mm. suggest between 10 and 100,000 birds a year are killed by wind turbines. I mean, I'm not an expert on statistics, but that does seem quite a, a, a wide range of well, numbers. Should we assume 100,000? Let's, let's assume 100,000. How many do you think are killed by domestic cats in the UK each year? About 5 million? 55 million. Right, well, I'd say that the turbines have got you know, some catching up to do, really. <laughs> I put a timer in. Ah. So we've got an hour and 50 minutes until he, Giorgio, there, gets here. There. There. Right. <laughs> when he's there then, we will be where? But when he's now? I don't know. So he, right now, it's six o'clock, so he is getting on the train, or rather is setting off, from Waterloo to Havant, which apparently will take one hour, 17 minutes. I think this is where we're going to catch up. In fact, no, we're just getting on to the M25. We have, as of now, two hours to get to our campsite before we are homeless for the night if we don't get there in time. We'll and be then... able to see the pitch. It's like bullseye. Here's what you could have won. <laughs> <laughs> Coming up to Uxbridge, there'll be all these people that live on the M25. When I say live, work. I just don't know how. I couldn't do this. I can feel like my life being sucked from my body. Yep. And not in a good way. No. Nope. Moving, I should Moving. point out. Yep. We are got, got a bit slower now. We're down to kind of 50, 60. They don't say hello like that either. They say hello like that. A lot of people, that is very true. We've said this before, haven't we? People on, well, certainly M25, shall we say, Say hello all the time. Yeah. But it's a different hello to the one that we're I, used I'm to. I'm not sure what that one is, but... Do you think it means something else? They're actually quite, well, very polite down here. We, we've got it all wrong. wrong. Yeah. And the next place after Compton, Hurtmore. Uh, Milford. <laughs> <laughs>
God, we've been told off by this. We're before. bored, are we? <laughs> Milford. I oh, know he's only got ten minutes to get from Havant to Chichester. He better turn up by himself. You know what he's like when he's drunk. He's making friends with everybody. He's inviting them back to a party. We've got enough space party. in the tent, have we? If, he, if, he, if George Jones does his thing and brings loads of people back. Yeah. I mean, we're in the South Downs National Park in a place called um, Midhurst. Ooh. Looks very nice. Whoa. Ooh, classic Porsche. Here you go, one and two bedroom apartments starting from £315,000. Wow, for a one bedroom apartment. Battery just went on the GoPro. As you can probably tell, it's getting darker now. Um, although it's still light. Because light there's yeah. a lot of canopy, so that's making it look darker. We're about anywhere from 15 to 20 minutes away because we don't know how long it's going to take us to get to the campsite, which is it's a maze, isn't it? Just finding places. Wow! Guess what we're about to enter? Cocking! Cocking! We are literally in one mile, you get to Cocking Hill. Nothing funny about that name. No. Cocking Garden is open. <laughs> <laughs> Cocking Church is down there. <laughs> the Blue Bell! <laughs> Look, this has been a long journey, to be fair. We have to amuse ourselves. I think the hysteria is set, setting in. <laughs> yeah. And the fact that if Too we don't, much get, sugar. <laughs> yeah, don't get there soon, we're sleeping in the Tesla cult. Oh, God. We're switching to phone cam because the battery's gone on that and this for some reason, uh, it won't work. I may have killed it when, when you accelerated too hard and this flew off. <laughs> um, but yeah, we've hit some sort of traffic now. That's, that's not good. No. Um, so Giorgio's gonna get a leg up, I think, in terms of the, the race. So now we're recording as Cell's recording. Hello! Hello to future us. <laughs> Let's go that no, way as well. He's going to the Festival of Speed as well. He's checking some grass, sir. Uh, so, well, yeah, they need that, don't they? Hey, Bill, there you go, Festival of Speed. I bet Giorgio's laughing at us right now. Yeah. I mean, in all seriousness, no, we've accidentally planned this almost to the wire. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It really is, isn't it? And this is the closest one we've done so far. Public, not, not, not the other word, E2. What colour? E2. This could be win or lose if we get to the wrong place. It's got to be this way. Yeah. Well, we hope so. It's got very dark very quickly. Yeah. They give you a sign and then that's it. Oh, 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 oh. We haven't arrived until we arrive at the check-in. How far is he away? I do not know. Have the look. question is, will they let us in? <laughs> well, that's true. Oh, <laughs> hey. Hello. Hello, yeah, right. What's your name? She's usually Mr. and Mrs. Smith. <laughs> <laughs> we're in! Woo! Yes, and we beat Giorgio. We did. But by how many minutes? <laughs> Go on. 12 minutes. Wow. 12 minutes. So we beat public transport in a car, in an electric car, doing, what, 300, I'm going to have to find out again, 330 miles or something. Uh, we're charging everything. And traffic minutes. on the assumption the train is running yeah, 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 on yeah. time, no delays, by 12 minutes. So we can basically prove that, um, that electric is still better than public transport. Yeah, yeah. And we haven't even talked about cost either. I guarantee one is a hell of a lot cheaper than the other. Where do you want to go? I think we, I think we got off lucky, to be honest. There was traffic? very little traffic. Yeah. Well, as in... None. There was just roadworks that slowed yeah. us down, but yeah, we, there was no uh, little M25 jams. The worst part was that tractor at the end. Become members and all that subscribe. Yeah, 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 yeah. yep. And then to name pay is it? Good news. What's that? We, if we remember this time and not too drunk, are recording the podcast again. The podcasts are starting again. They are driving home, OHN, from anywhere you can get a podcast from. And they might already be out before you watch this, but anyway, what? <laughs> That's true. Listen to them. I need a wee. You need a wee? Yeah. Oh, well, so if I keep talking... No, no, I'm going to have to just go. <laughs> <laughs> right, guys, right. Uh, see you. Bye. Bye. Wee time.